We are most definitely going to rally out and kill King Joffrey. If we can kill Joffrey, you know, what, uh, gold cloaks? They have nothing. We're most definitely playing this. Corbro will be the savior of the Seven Kingdoms if you can kill Joffrey Baratheon. Wow, as if he came out all by him, like, all on his lonesome. Or maybe that could, maybe that could have been a tactic to get Harren or things. There was another army to the left of screen. Uh, maybe he just wanted me to draw my armies out. But I'm, I'm guessing that was the tactic. But I think it is foolishly going to end up uh, in a bad way for the crown. Not so much for the country. Just the crown. <laughs> okay. For crown and country. Okay, we'll move my archers here. Cavalry can be on the flanks. Not that they wouldn't need them too much because they have got gold cloaks. We'll move Corbray and nine stars here. And we will start the battle. Okay, looks like he's deployed here. Um, I guess we're going to have to... I, why didn't he just deploy right in front of me? What a fucking stupid dickhead. Mind you, he isn't really proven. He's just all that smart. Young Joffrey. Move them there. And we'll go here as well. Archers. Go just behind. We're basically just making a massive maneuver tactic. We'll keep my cavalry there, but I will have to move these guys further around. Everyone charge on that. Knights of the Vale. It's your one chance to end the inbred cunt. Now, what are these guys doing? What are they doing? What's at the front line here? Crossbowmen. They have their spearmen. Everyone's running. These must be m them, obviously. Oh, wait, no, no, this is a house. That's a cool sigil. A broken wheel. It looks like one of those sailor's wheels. I would think that'd be more ironborn based, you would say. Do they got one little crossbowmen? Fuck this. We're going head on into them. Pick a target and charge, I reckon. We'll make them route quite quickly. Cavalry can swing about to surround Joffrey. Um, archers can fire at Joffrey. Oh, hang on. Archers will fire at Joffrey. Hang on. And the remaining spearmen that aren't engaged already in the main bulk of the units will swing around and uh, uh, will essentially surround him. Um, so who have we got? In, um, who have we got engaged here? Okay, I think I might get my archers to pull back, and then we're going to get a lot more friendly fires, which you do not want. Looks like Joffrey's been led into a trap here. On his own doing. Which is hilarious. I could take the opportunity. No, they're already routing it, aren't they? We'll start speeding this up a bit. We've surrounded Joffrey quite heavily. And once this spearman comes in, he's fucked. There's no way you know we're out of this. Somehow we're still making a push though. Once their king is dead, they've lost all hope. So that was interesting. Stannis. 
Uh, Stannis, Edmure, and now Joffrey is now dead. We've got my cavalry to mop up the rest. We'll continue. I don't want any crown land troops near me. I'm sending the nine stars in to take this on air. Get a bigger ransom. It's a good victory, nonetheless. Our first and best, probably. It's a good result, I'm happy with it. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. Yeah, I'm kind of over the mopping up business. We deployed two. We absolutely smashed them. There, the results. If you like to have a look at them, I can't bother reading them out. Was he for the Red Dragon or the Black? A dangerous question. House Targaryen or Blackfire? Oh, <laughs> we can actually ransom him. Really? Fuck that. Fuck that. He is so dead. And uh, that obviously pushes Tommen into the throne. And I'm sure that head has been sent to Rob Sark, and that's even further cemented our claim. We're not actually allied with Stark just yet. We will do once um, Sansa comes about. Um, I think I should get an alliance with Stark. Let's go up to the north, like Caleb, most likely. There's a full stack here. Why didn't they? Why didn't they rally up together and push up? Which is logical, but hey, whatever floats your boat. I'm happy with you losing troops. I'm gonna send my fleet down south to see how big the garrison is at Tarth, because I'm sure that that is where yes, yeah, Stannis is. Yeah, is. We'll move you back up. Looks like, wow, Joffrey's got some troops here. Got some alright fleets. Faction announcements. Not really that interesting. I don't think Joffrey's going to mount an attack against Dragonstone, which is a good, it's a good thing. Um, I probably should negotiate military access for both us. Uh, no, we want military access for military access. Well, we're just going to move through your lands anyway, just piss you off, so it's up to you. I don't really care. So what's House Tully going to do? Are they really going to attack us? No, I didn't think so. Nesta Stone. No, and Tyro is dominating, it looks like. Okay, we're going to move this army down now. Um, I was going to give the command to Nine Stars, but I don't think he's going to reach there in time. He could do still. I want to move this army into there. There we go, perfect. And it looks like Robert Aaron still hasn't had a child yet. I'm not too sure when Sansa Stark spawns. I really do want to get rid of Stannis though. Just to get him over and done with. So I don't have to think about... Jesus, that is a big army near Harrenhal. I just need to scratch my head for a sec. Oh. But it's Joffrey, they got piss poor troops. And we do have the nine stars coming. And we are we can defend that easy. If we play it on the map, we have Harrenhal's high walls. We're in a good position. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna send this um we'll send that amount. We will we'll swing around and attack Tarth just to get rid of um, just to wholly and solely get rid of uh, House Stannis. I don't really care about Tarth. I don't really. Like, I don't give a shit really. 
All I want is to get rid of him, just to not think about him, because he does have a full army somewhere, because that obviously wasn't at... It wasn't at Dragonstone we attacked or Driftmark, so I have a feeling that he's got a couple of ships left that could easily leave House Stannis as dead. Um, is that it for House Stannis? Yep, Stannis. Okay, looks like Joffrey ended up taking... Um, ended up... Oh, here we go. Like I said, it looked like he ended... I'm probably should repair, because we're probably about to lose Driftmark. End up taking Tarth. Well, it looks like I'm going to have to double back to Dragonstone. Um, and here comes the Nine Stars here to save the day. Easier. It's a 7 to 4 ratio. We crazily outnumber them. Fuck off, Joffrey, you scum. The thing is, do the Lannisters can... Do the Lannisters still contest? Uh... Pattaya Aaron. Wow. <laughs> That's what Pattaya Baelish wishes he was. Okay. We'll start recruiting some more swordsmen to move out. Win the turn once more. I guess we could send... Oh, okay. Driftmark's been attacked. Far out Joffrey has some fleet. We don't really need to send a that big army. We'll probably send Red Fort with a couple of spearmen just to deal with him. Well, there goes that army. Um, Man of the Hour, Red Fort. He's actually a four-star general, really? From Dragonstone, he gets a pretty decent trade. He's actually turning out to be an alright general. Faction announcements, no. Train Chris two card. Yeah, that's that's awesome. <laughs> okay, we'll make the best army we possibly can, and we'll give Corbray the command. I mean, just getting all the dismounted knights together, um, and like archers and such. I like doing that, giving one overpowered army. One, two, three, four, five, six. We need Corbray in there. A couple of cavalry units to even it out. And everyone needs spearmen, so I'll put them there. Perfect! And this army will move north uh, to possibly take River Run back. I'll keep the nine stars in Harrenhal for the time being. Um, I probably shouldn't recruit anything else except for like dismounted knights and maybe those decent crossbowmen. We do have ships being constructed in... Oh, fucking hell. Thank God we do have ships being constructed. Let's go back to the Gold Town region. It's not like, thank God we don't have a port that they can block. I think we need to spend a lot of our money on naval. Because Joffrey seems to have... As seems to have... Or maybe they just got experienced ones. Maybe they just took Stannis' fleet. <laughs> we didn't repair at Drift Mike because I thought I was going to lose it, but now we sure can. There's a full stack at River Run. Tyrek with no no command experience will besiege River Run. And hold out. We should be able to take that. If the Tullys come and help us as well, that could be a good advantage. Um, we are in the north, remote Kalen. I'm making an alliance with the Starks. Mm. Really? Are you kidding me? I don't see why not giving a little bit of money doesn't help. Military, military? No. Oh yeah. Well, we have an alliance with House Stark now, and we've pled to King Rob. Let's show allegiance until I declare myself as king. Well, not uh, not Robert Aaron, Harold. Ah, we've been attacked here, and we are outnumbered. Is that on the field though? Hmm. 
Oh, do a quick save. 